Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you uh, the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed Now, you may have seen my video on uh, my review of the Shaman's Dream Oracle by Al Alberto Violdo and Colette Baron reed So if you want to check that one out, you can. Um, Colette Baron reed if you don't know who she is, she's a prolific creator of oracle cards and she, a couple of others of hers are the wisdom of the oracle deck and the spirit animal oracle which i will also review if you let me know in the comments that you'd like to see those now she's also the author of the oracle card journal um, which i've recently started doing so this is a 40 day um kind of like a 40 day challenge if you will and so I'll let you know how that goes so far I'm really enjoying it a lot um, what you do is you pull an oracle card every day and you uh, journal on the meaning of that card to you all right so the enchanted map oracle cards um, it comes in a two-piece box this is what the bottom and size looks like it's published by Hay House um, most all almost all in fact all of colette baron reed's uh, oracle decks that i know of are published by hay house and this one is 21.99 in the u.s and 24 20 sorry 28.99 in canada it says imagine between the visible and the unseen is a guiding force that some call spirit the holy will the divine the field of or consciousness Using this card deck by Colette Baron reed will connect you to that larger consciousness and guide you as you travel along on the journey of your life. The themes of these 54 cards represent some of the places you'll visit, the conditions you may encounter, and the allies and challengers you'll meet as you navigate a metaphoric map of your life's journey. The enclosed guidebook will help you ask the right questions and interpret the messages in your readings. The Enchanted Map Oracle cards were created in order to empower you to understand the story of your fate, destiny, and free will, and allow you to start a course to live a life of deep purpose, true prosperity, and vibrant love. All right, so. To ch that didn't make sense. And it will allow you to chart a course to live. My goodness. That Sorry about that. To start a course. Yep, yep. Nope, doesn't make sense. All right, so that's the box. Explore your life's journey. And there's a key right there. Let's take a look at the guidebook. This is a soft cover book. Um, it's, it's a chubby little book. I love it. Um, and also, okay, there's Colette Baron Reed on the back. You can see her. So this book was published in or this um, deck was published in 2011 so it's been around for a while it's pretty new to me though um, it has a list of her books and her card decks there, there are quite a lot of them we have a table of contents an introduction how to use the cards the purpose of the cards how to do a reading, sample readings, and an explanation of the positions. There's a one card reading, a three card reading. There's actually a couple of different. No, that's the interpretation of this, sorry. It's a three card reading, there's a six card reading. And let's see. And then it starts with the cards and it gives an upright. Well, first it'll have the number, the title of the card, um, a key quote or thought to think about for that card. And then there's an upright and a reversed meaning. And it looks like there's about two pages for each card. There is no, there are no um, illustrations in there. But I'm curious about... I'm curious about who the illustrator is. Ah, here we go. So then, 
after it describes all of the 54 cards, we have about the author and then about the artist, Jenna Della Grotaglia. Okay, Jenna Della Grotaglia is a native New Yorker, and she actually was the same person who did the illustrations for the, yeah, for the Shaman Stream Oracle. Same, same artist. I knew she sounded familiar. So that's about the author and artist. And then we have some Hay House information. And anywhere, anytime card readings on your mobile device, download the free, the mobile app and get a free seven day trial. So the whole app's not free, but there is a free seven day trial. All right, so that's the guidebook. Now let's take a look at the cards. So inside, I don't know if you can see that there's kind of like very pale writing in there. All right, and at the end we'll do a um, we'll do a one card reading so you can see how the book's written to see if you can relate to it. These cards are glossy, so you can tell glossy. That's what the back looks like. Uh, there's a keyhole there, and they're reversible, obviously. And um, okay, so let's. The cardstock is a uh, medium weight cardstock, again glossy. So let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so this is number one, the Bone Collector, Gentle Gardener, Wizard of Awareness is number three. And each, um, the number is at the top, the number of the card, and then the title is at the bottom. Number four, Spirit of Place. Number five, Goblins. Number six, Mountain. Number seven, Into the Unknown. Number eight, Come Together. Number nine, storm fields. Number 10, rock bottom. Number 11, balancing act. Number 12, slow and steady. Number 13, solitude. Number 14, ride the wave. Number 15, one ring circus. Number 16, rescue. Number 17, Ghostlands. Number 18, Magic Stream. Number 19, Dragon's Lair. Number 20, Flying. 21, Field of Dreams. 22, Intention. 23, Golden Palace. 24, Stuck in the Mud. Number 25, Metamorphosis. 26, Deep Freeze. 27, Home. 28, Movement. 29, Coming to Life. 30, Making a Choice. 31, Dry Desert. 32, Magic Prayer. 33, Peaks of Joy. 34, Spark. 35, Education. 36, Commitment. 37, Cleaning House. 38, Heal the Ouch. 39, Protecting Treasure, 40, Follow the Leader, 41, Unexpected Visitors, 42, Wide Open, 43, Details, Details, 44, Strength, 45, Sad Embrace, 46, Coming Apart, 47, Sacred Pool. 48, Wishing Well, or Wishing Well. 49, Talisman. 50, 
Compass, 51 Moonlight, 52 Magical Map Shifter, and 53 Listening, and 54 Encouragement. So those are the cards. Let's see how they shuffle. Um, let me show you the size of these cards compared to my Rider Waite deck. I should just keep that over here, shouldn't I? Because I do this comparison a lot. But sometimes it's nice to see how the Oracle cards compare to the size of a typical um, tarot deck. So that's how they're quite a bit larger. You know, maybe three quarters of an inch wider and a quarter of an inch taller. So that's just good to know sometimes. Let's see how they shuffle. And this is a thin enough deck that they should be able to, well, I missed part of them. That's dealer error. I mean, not dealer error. Shuffler error. How about that? Ah. Okay, yes, they... They shuffle fine. They shuffle very nicely. They don't stick together. They're awesome. Nice. Good shuffling. I don't know why I keep doing that, but whatever. It keeps... I keep losing some. But anyway, so we can shuffle sideways riffle, riffle shuffle. That's good. Either way. Try that again, and we will uh, do a one card reading here in just a second so you can see how the book's written. And okay, so Spirit, what does our viewer need to think about right now? Spirit, what does our viewer need to know or think about right at this time? What does our viewer need to know about where they are right now, and what do they need to think about? Okay, so. The card is called Goblins. Well, I'm kind of glad it's that one because you know what? I was really curious about that. There's Goblins and that's what it looks like. I can not get this reflection of my camera in there. Alright, so let's look up. That is number five. Goblins. Okay. If you see smoke, my candle just went out. If you see smoke floating around. Okay, it, it adds to the atmosphere. Okay, goblins. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Okay, the upright meaning, which is our meaning, I will read first, and then I'll also read the reverse meaning, so you can just see how that is. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card's appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. All right, great advice. And then the reverse meaning says... It's often difficult to deal with someone else's issues because they impact your own. No one is perfect, but in this case, you're particularly vulnerable to being manipulated. Don't take this world personally. When the goblin's card arrives reversed, it's a sign to step back with detachment. Don't let other people's stuff lead you into reacting from an old wound. Love yourself unconditionally. Set boundaries and your goblins will fall asleep. Love is the only answer. All right, nice advice. So that was my review of Colette Baron Reed's Enchanted Map Oracle Cards, illustrated by Gina Della Grataglia and published by Hay House. 
Now, did I say when it was published? Because I just, I think it said 2021. Let's look again real quick. Yep. No. Oh, this is the one that's been around for a while. 2011. So this has been around for going on 12 years. It's a goodie. I, but I just found this. So um, I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. It's completely free for you and it helps me out a lot. Plus, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time another video is uploaded and ready for viewing and so you won't miss any at all. I want to thank you for being with me. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.